Welcome back to my studio. Now I'm starting to work on the water in the background here between the horses and the rocks. And I'm using a mixture of my ultramarine blue plus uh, mud. The mud is ultramarine blue plus alizarin crimson. And I'm just blocking in the water. I'm going to then pull the reflections of the trees and all down into that. But I want a field of paint back here that I can pull those reflections down into. I'm leaving white here because that's where the water is going to be splashing up from the horses running through the shallow water. And I'm not doing too much as I come forward because we're going to have um, the rocks below the water are going to be showing through the shallow water. I need to mix me a little more paint. Didn't mix quite enough. And again, this is my mud plus ultramarine blue plus white. I think I left out the white in the previous time I was telling you what the mixture was. But got that mixed. Add not quite as blue. I need a little more ultramarine blue in that. I just want a, a rich blue that then I can pull my reflections down into. I like to paint my reflections wet into wet. And since we're painting water, it just makes sense to paint wet into wet. I'm, it, it also makes the reflections just work better for me. I'm sure there's some people that paint it dry brush, but I work better painting wet into wet. That, this is on a gallery wrap canvas, so that I'm painting that other edge, reaching around the canvas there. And the, the reflections of the water will be coming down in here, and so I'm not worried about that area. But right now we're just working on this area to the right of the horses, where the water is pretty well undisturbed. Now I'm coming back with some of my rock color. This is mud plus a little bit of ultramarine blue plus some cadmium orange. And I just pull that color straight down into the water. See, that's already beginning to look like reflections. Now, some of my tree color. I'm going to pull that down next. Actually, I should have done, well, let me pull some of my tree color down in there. I'm going to have a little bit here under the horses. under him right here because the water won't be splashing up in here so we'll see some of the background water through his legs. So I'm going to pull a little bit of my tree color down there too. And a clean brush, I swish it out and clean it with tissue. Secret to clean color on your canvas is a clean brush. So I wipe my brush quite a lot. So I just bring some of that color down into there. And then this will be splashing up. Just want a little bit of that back there. Okay. Now I'm going to take some of my evergreen fir tree color. This is phthalo blue plus cadmium orange plus some white. 
and I come directly down from where my trees are. So I'm going to make this a little bit darker, add a little more phthalo blue into the mixture. And that's going to come. Bring a little more of my blue in here. Just to... Then I make some horizontal cross pieces. That just gives the feeling of ripples in the water. You must just use a clean brush to just drag that. Then make a little horizontal as the shadow, eh, shadow, so the reflection comes further down into the water. Then it ripples out. And I'll do more of that when I paint the foreground, but right now I just want to get this background in. Now, this, this tree here is reflecting down. And that's brighter. The sun hits that tree at the top, so I'm going to let some of that light reflect down into my water. It's only at the top of the tree. The, the shadow kind of comes across. The light's coming in from the right. Now, I'm not sure how much of that those upper trees are showing. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see a little bit more. Refocus. Do this fir tree here, coming down. Comes kind of in front of the orange. And now this orange tree in the front. This with the He's darker lower down, and then he gets a little bit lighter at the top. So we'll just have a little bit of that reflection coming down here. Now my brown grass, my dried grass up here on the bank, is also going to be reflecting into the, the water. And these are mixes of my mud plus a little cadmium orange. Don't need, don't need a whole lot, just, again, indications. But then the sunlight's tipping the top of those. Your reflections are never quite as bright as the objects that are reflecting down in. But again, we want that light coming. We've got some darker grasses there. Clean my brush, lighter color. Again, it comes straight down from the object reflecting into the water. down from my rocks again just to pull a little bit of those reflections over that grass. Now along the water's edge where it hits the rocks, little debris and little foam kind of collects along that edge so a little, you don't want this line to just be continuous but there's just where the light catches that edge you just have a little bit of a and this I'm using a little bit of ultramarine blue and some white now 
this is ultramarine blue and white also, and now I'm making some bigger strokes. That just gives the feeling of the light reflecting, coming across that water. Then with a clean brush, I come back and use a little bit bigger brush. You just want to make a few few strokes that give the feel of the water. Don't want those reflections to just be totally straight down. Just drag, drag through. That just gives a feeling of that water's moving just a little bit. This will need some refinement, but I just want to get this area of the canvas covered so when I do my splashing water, I'll have the background already done. I'm going to soften this just a little bit. And there's my reflections of those trees down into the water. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. And I also have a blog. The address is in the description below. It's also on the final frame of my video. You have a wonderful, wonderful day. And thank you again for visiting the studio.